Do it, say it again. Welcome back. This experiment is called heating up. This experiment is called heating up. We are going to teach the people outside. We're going to teach the people outside about conduction. About conduction. And how heat can be transferred. How heat can be transferred. We're going to put some hot water. We're going to put some hot water. In this clear glass pie dish. In this clear glass pie dish. See all the steam coming off? Yeah. That means it's hot. Very good. Okay, put an ice cube in the tin can. Put an ice cube in the styrofoam cup. Now put the tin can and the styrofoam cup in the water. No, 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 like this, just put them in the water. <laughs> now, okay. look up, stand up and look down, look in, the, look in the can and look in the cup, stand up. Look at what's happening to the ice cube in the can, and then look at the ice cube in the cup. What's happening to the ice cube in the can? Uh, looks like more is melting. Do you think it's melting? Well, you tell me, get your head back. Um, does it look like it's melting? Uh, do you think? Well, what's the sign of it melting? <laughs> well, this ice cube is not... This ice cube is not melting. And this one is melting. Why do you think the ice cube in the can is melting? Mm. Because the hot water is coming in. No, the hot water is not coming in the can. Why do you think the ice cube is melting? Maybe the hot water that's melted. Well, the hot water heats up the can. The hot water heats up the can. Because the can conducts heat energy. And the can can conducts heat energy. And the styrofoam cup does not conduct heat energy. Yeah. That's why a styrofoam cup can keep drinks hot or cold. Yeah. The can is being heated up by the hot water. Ooh, that's kind of warm. And the hot water heats up the can, yeah. which makes the ice cube yeah. melt. Yeah, but what about this? Well, this is a styrofoam cup. Yeah, but what the water is doing to it? The water can't do anything to the styrofoam cup because it's an insulator. It insulates against heat. What is See, insulate? Now look, look at the ice cube in the can. Stand up and look at the ice cube in the can. Melt? Is it melting? Yeah. But the hot water cannot do anything with this. And why is that? Hmm. Because it just the hot water cannot get into it. Well, the hot water can't get into the can. Leave me alone. The hot water uh, can't get into the can either. Uh, yeah. The hot water can't heat this up. The hot water can uh, heat the can up. Uh, yeah. And when the can heats up, mm -hmm. what happens to the ice cube? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happens to the ice cube when the can heats up? It melts. Very good. What happens to the ice cube in this one? It does not melt. Yeah. Why don't you pull the ice cube out of this one and show everybody that it's not melting. Ta-da! See? You see? Now put it back in the cup. So, tell everybody at home, this experiment teaches them about conduction. This is really can teach about conduction. The can conducts heat energy better than the styrofoam cup. The can can conduct heat energy in this can and this cup. Because this cup is an insulator. Because this cup is on insulator. Well, what are you telling them when you're done with an experiment? Bye, guys. Because it's not magic. It's not magic and science.